Yes, sister. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Aisha. I'm from Philippines. I born Christian. Now, I am just a Muslim one year. I have to... <laughs> Alhamdulillah. I would like to point out two things, actually. The first thing is, I observe that most of us Muslims, they, uh, they strike or we speak about the weaknesses of other religions. Why don't we show the good things as the models against them? Like what I've heard in this session, that we are more better than Christians. I am right now studying in Islamic Center, and according to our some teachers, they said that no one in the world can judge a person. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can say that his heart is good, he is good. No one can judge in the world. What do you think about it? Sister has the question that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one who can judge the hearts, and I do agree with you. She is saying that why do we say that we are better? We should present what is good. Sister, what I did in this talk is I picked up the good things of Christianity. I am trying to tell the Christians that actually if you follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, it is good. I am trying to uplift them. I am not trying to degrade them. You have misunderstood my talk. What I am trying to say when I made the statement that if Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, then we are more Christian than the Christian themselves. Trying to tell verse of the Quran, Come to common terms as I send you. I never said that we are better. We are following your Bible better. I am saying, I am telling them that why don't you follow your Bible also? At least follow what is common. I'm trying to pick up the good points of the Bible. That if your Bible says that be modest, the woman should cover the head, that the woman should wear the veil, the woman should be modest. I'm telling them, why aren't you modest? Where am I trying to prove that we are better than them? I'm trying to say that at least let us agree to follow what is common. Again, this is not my technique. It is what our creator Allah has told us. It is not my style. Allah is telling me to do this. If you say it is wrong, then you are telling Allah is wrong. Allah says in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse 64, sawa Come to common terms as in us and you. Which is the first term? Allah na'buda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. So we have to convey the message to the non-Muslims that come to common terms. And the best term is that worship only one God. Hope that answers the question. If killing is strictly prohibited in Islam, why don't the Muslim spiritual leaders openly criticize and unitedly fight the killings going on in the name of jihad? <laughs>